Good day, guys. I hope we're all good. I hope we are all good. Uh, so we're back with a quick analysis for the day. We're going to start with C500 because I have an active trade there. So what am I looking at on uh, C500? I'm looking at a rejection on the daily. It's almost the same thing as yesterday. I'm looking at a rejection on the Tyson EMA daily, rejected the zone. So I'm just looking to be bearish, going to retest uh, this weekly zone. Same view as from a few days ago. So let's see how this goes. Uh, H4. So now we're just looking for reasons to scale in because I do have a bias. And I'm looking forward for price to come take out these lows here. And these lows here as well. and potentially get to the weekly low around 32.50, anywhere around those areas. So dropping down to the H1, we have a nice bearish engulfing candle, which also broke its structure. So I am bearish, definitely. Uh, where could price potentially pull back to? They can pull back uh, to this red line here which is on uh, 3508. Uh, 3408, sorry, not 35. 3408. So if you drop down to M30, uh, you will see there's that line there. Where else could price potentially get to? They can potentially... Uh, okay, we actually have momentum, but we can potentially retrace into that looks like an order block to me so we can retrace into that area m15 there is the order block there um so yeah it will just depend with a few factors price can also retrace into this area and uh i think we'll hold it on on to only those points of interest. So the first point of interest will be right here. Second, third. I don't think they will come up here, but if they do, it will mean we have to cut loss on any active trades, wait and see how they act, uh, especially around the zone here. Okay, so that's my kind of view. Why I'm saying they might, we can't rule it out. There's uh, C300. If you saw what happened to C300 yesterday. Okay. During the live session, we entered a cell yesterday. Where did we enter it? We entered it somewhere here. I think there was a gap in here, right? And this was our stop loss somewhere here. Price actually took us out. They actually gave us a reason to exit, but still thought they would come down, but they didn't. And they took us out. Then they came and respected this zone, uh, rejected it. Then they dropped, right? And they still came for three more touches near the same zone. So the trapping was a bit hard on C3. And we booked a loss on it yesterday, but overall it's still dropped for the day so today on c1 so on c500 we're saying as much as we're looking for a bearish move uh price can still come up above these highs take out this liquidity here maybe tap into this uh zone before they decide to sell that's a possible move but if we get a rejection here we're selling possible retest continue selling or we get a, re a reaction here or we get a reaction here those are all points of interest so we only have one runner at the moment uh just because we are giving room that price might want to retrace but if we break below this uh low here which is i think it's yesterday's lows and we retest it then price should definitely fall and take out these days uh lows here that's 
the target. So that's it with C5. We're going to bounce back to C1. C1 yesterday, we didn't really have anything. We were looking at this zone here. It was respected for a few pips, but I didn't take this particular trade. So today, my point of interest is this order block here. You can see this one was respected here. So prices come above it now. They are pushing up intraday. But once we get to this zone, we should be able to get some spikes possibly here. Maybe a retracement to the 13 EMA. Or maybe the price will actually create a pattern that it will continue pushing down. But definitely, we should be able to get uh, a few pips from this zone. Then we see there's an 800 EMA coming here. If we happen to break this zone, we will definitely possibly, possibly fall uh, from this area at the top here, which is also in line with this zone if you just extend it. So that's the H1. So that's my view for C1. Uh, C300. Still, we've got a st strong uh, sell bias. The only thing, the only thing which might uh, delay us on this trade is we'll be looking for uh, a possible entry point. This price action for me uh, looks like a reversal. Is we're going up this particular price action. Maybe we might have to wait for the today's candles to close, maybe trade it tomorrow and Sunday. But um, for now, I'll say with this, I'm looking for sales. Drop down to H4. Same thing, if we close below this zone and we get a retracement, then I'm definitely jumping into sales. And I think it would be a good drop there's a high possibility. But also we should be open to the fact that price can still retrace up. Check out all the people who are correct with the sell right now. Everybody who's been selling right now, obviously stop losses are here, stop losses are here, stop losses are here. So price might do this run, then they, may, they might come back up, then they might sell. So I'm just open to that possibility as well. And I'm also open to price just uh, making a run down. So we're flexible with that. For signals on this and updates, I'll share in the Telegram group. Right, so that's it for C3, C5, we spoke about it. B1 actually took me out yesterday. Uh, you can see I had a buy during our session. Somewhere at the top of this candle, but it was on M15. Then I was targeting this zone here. They eventually came there, but they took me out first. You can see this is the red candle which took me out. And uh, my loss for the day was reached, so I didn't re-enter, even though the next uh, move I actually played as well. So today, I don't have anything clear for now on B1. The fact that it's been pushing up for a couple of days... Uh, maybe I might wait for it here. Possible buys day around fourteen to eight five. Around that area, if we do get like a pattern, maybe anyway here, I might still take a scalp buy back to today's highs. I might, but I'm not really keen because you know what goes up must come down. But if price action gives us the reason to actually take the buy, then we will take the buy. You can see so anyway around 14.285 or slightly above maybe on the 50 EMA. If we get something there, I might scalp a buy and I'll be looking forward to target this high, which is today's highs. So that's it on B1, on B500. Uh, it actually came out, came down to these lows, which we were talking about. I didn't take the trade though, 
but they came to our area, which we were looking at yesterday. They rejected it, and they look like they want to push up because this looks like a multi day W for me. So a point of interest would be an order block here. That's why I marked that gray zone. So anyway, on 4,700, I'm interested on buys. If price can retrace to this area, I might, I'll actually execute a buy. Let me just check the daily. Yeah, I will definitely execute a buy and I will be looking forward to hold it. All the way to 48.50. So from 4700, if we get a pattern there, I'm looking forward to hold the buy all the way until it gets to at least 48.50. So that's my current view on B1. J10 executed a sell yesterday, dropped nicely back to the lows. I was actually anticipating a continuation down. They didn't. They came back up. So today, what am I expecting? Um, I think we need a higher time frame to look at this one. Okay, again, I'm still bearish here. I'm still bearish on this one. Still very, very bearish. So I'm going to extend this zone, which I had from yesterday. Right. As long as soon as price comes below, back below that zone, I'm active on sales. So that will be around 86,140. 86,140. Um, that's I need to close below that zone. Then I'll just check if maybe there's room for a retracement, but I'll be looking for sales to take out this low and potentially come down to this low and still the view hasn't changed i'll be looking forward for price to get to the trend line on the weekly chart so i'm still bearish on um on j10 uh, what could happen is let's say price wants to come up what will be our reasoning for buys what will make us want to buy i would consider buys if price uh, keeps pushing up, right? So that will mean price is broken and it's retesting here. So it's pushing back up. But I'm not keen on buying since my bias is bearish. If I do get an M rather here, I will be keen to sell, right? Then if we do break and close above today's highs, then I might consider buys. If price does something like this, then I'll consider buys big to this zone at the top here. But if there's any signal, again, I will advise uh, in the group. Uh, V250, uh, all the zones, I don't think we need them. Let me see. Okay, so currently on my trading system, as we are looking at it, I'm on the buy side of the system. But I like again, I want to look at how price reacts on the 50 EMA. So I'm currently on the buy side. Price can still push up all the way to these levels here. But at the same time, they can respect the 50 EMA and push down. So at the moment, what would make us sell this if we get price coming below this uh red light here we should consider sales right right if we come below the red line we consider sales uh what could make us consider buys uh let me just check m15 the way price is pushing up i do not have a clear zone to see if price comes here i will buy i do not have that maybe if if we fail to break this 
the end price might continue. There's a possibility, but if we do come down, I'm definitely selling. Once we break the red line here, I'm definitely selling. If you go to H1, you zoom in, you see there's like a doji like candle. So I'm just using that whole candle as my zone. So I'm waiting for price to close below that zone where I put the red line for me to actually consider sales. Setup for buy, I do not have at the moment. I do not have, but yeah, I'll keep stalking for a possible sell. But if something clear appears for a buy, then I might consider uh, taking the trade and I'll advise the signal in the group. So I think for me, that's it. Our only active trade at the moment is C5. Yesterday, again, we were active as the zoom ended. And price slightly came above where we would put our stop loss, but you can see they gave a nice doji uh, and price uh, melted. So today, again, I'm anticipating price to just pull into this zone and possibly sell. That's my current view, but I'm also paying attention to this. I want to see what they want to do here. All the moving averages are in the area, so we're not really using them. Again, from this area, we're going to get a possible explosive move either today or tomorrow. So we want to keep stalking. We want to keep stalking on C500. Uh, our runner is doing well. This looks like a rejection of this red line, but let's allow price to just move. If they want to move down, we're going to allow them to move give us a, a, a re-entry, then we're going to scale in, then look forward to hold and catch a couple of pips. So in terms of take profits, I think I'll state it again because uh, I've had people asking me. Um, so the current runner is currently in 13 pips. Yeah, 13 pips of profit. It's not really a big move. Uh, we'll be targeting at least we break below the zone and we get that retracement and entry we'll be looking forward to catch just 30 pips it's not really a big move so my point was like uh someone was asking all oh, the crash be it's crash 1000 crash 300 crash 500 i only look for sales when it's trending up i only look to sell the retracements of the uptrend if it's trending down i look to sell and hold so if we're trading against the trend, the target is just usually 20 to 30 pips. If it's a low probability trade, target is the same 20 to 30 pips. If it's a high probability trade, or if we're trading with the trend, target is 50 to 100 pips, right? So vice versa for the booms, the booms are only look to buy, uh, and I only trade B1 and B5. So if it's an uptrend, same applies, I'm looking for 50 to 100 pips. If it's a downtrend, I'm looking to buy the retracements. So it will be 20 to 30 pips. And if it's a low probability trade, the target will be 20 to 30 pips. So sometimes I might share a signal and I might not, not see the target. Just know that in my on my system, this is what I'm targeting. All right, J10, uh, we don't <coughs> really calculate pips. This one is a bit uh, confusing in terms of pips, but we just go for a considerable B250, 1S, same thing. So, yeah, I think that's it from me today. Any other signals I will advise in the Telegram group. I'm really anticipating a sell here. If this price does not do anything funny, like coming all the way up here, we should get a nice drop. So let's see how that goes. If we get a, drop, a close below yesterday's high, uh, we'll just be looking for more reasons to sell and we'll scale it onto our trade. Um, yeah, C1, we're waiting for them to come into our zone. C3, we're still waiting for the possible retracement up. But again, if we close below this area, We'll consider sales. C5, we spoke about it. B1, waiting for price to come. 
to the flip zone or to yesterday's high. This is yesterday's high. So waiting for them to come here for a possible scalp buy. B5, waiting for them to come to the order block. That order block there. Uh, J10, we're stalking this to see what they want to do. V250, uh, sells below this red line, targeting yesterday's lows. Buys, I don't have a setup yet. If I do, I will advise. So that's it for today. C3 looks to be moving with below the zone. So all we're looking for now is more, we need a retracement so that we can enter again. So this is the first impulsive move down. So we wear sideways, it looks like we've broken a zone and it looks like we can potentially close below, right? So possible retracement back into this range is, uh, we cannot rule that out. This price can retest, retest that zone or this red line or they'll just ret retest this gray zone and continue falling. So if there's more entries there, I'll advise on the Telegram group. So I hope this helps. Uh, if this assists you in any way, kindly uh, share the link, either Telegram link or the YouTube link uh, with your friends who you feel like they might also benefit. Everything is just free in terms of what I share here. And these are just my personal views. All signals are taken only if you see the same view as me. All right. Have a good day, guys. Good trading.